Local schools say safety is top of mind on the football field. It all comes after a Georgia high school player died and a Tennessee State University player fights for his life. Both of them suffered head injuries over the weekend. In Tennessee, high school helmets are tested and medical staff must be on the sideline at games. We want to know, though, do you think the requirements are enough to keep student athletes safe? Let us know on the WBIR app or at WBIR.com slash vote. And meanwhile, 10 News reporter Gabrielle Hayes explains the safety requirements. Gabrielle. Robin and Brandon, local athletic directors say we've come a long way in terms of what we know about football safety. And each school has their own process for keeping up equipment up to standard. Out of all pieces of football equipment, most coaches and athletic directors will tell you one of the most important is the helmet. There's a process where you're always undergoing and checking your helmets to make sure that there's uh, that they meet compliance standards. Jody Wright is the athletic director at Fulton High School. He says the program sends the helmets to be assessed one by one every two years. They're undergoing a uh, rigorous set of tests and so they recondition those helmets. Over at Anderson County High School in Clinton, helmets are checked a little more frequently. Every year in December, uh, the rep from Rydell comes by and uh, he takes all our helmets. He takes those to a reconditioning plant right there. Athletic Director Gary Terry says each year the program replaces about 12 helmets. So that we can stay in, in, in compliance right there with the, the rules and regulations. Terry says he not only understands the importance as a coach, but also as a dad. I'm also a parent of a football player on our team, two football players on our team, and uh, it's, uh, it, it means something to me to go over that with parents and let them understand that player safety and helmet safety is number one with us. Both programs have other policies too. In a ball game situation, you have a couple other layers. There's generally uh, doctors here plus an ambulance on site as well. Wright says across the state, schools are required to have medical staff on the sidelines, just another measure to keep players safe. Everything you do in high school athletics, the whole gamut with, with rules, with how the game, it all goes back to two things, really sportsmanship and safety. Again, different schools have different protocol for how often helmets are checked, but both directors I spoke to today say it's something all coaches make a priority. Back to you. Gabrielle, thank you. And we asked you your thoughts on the requirements. Are they enough to keep student athletes safe? And right now, the vast majority of you saying no, they aren't enough. Keep voting at WBIR.com slash vote or the app. Well, still to